Welcome to the Daily English News Program on Azerbaijan Television. I'm Ayana Ghazadeh. President Ilham Aliyev shared a video on his social media accounts marking the anniversary of Gubadli's liberation from occupation. The post reads, Our victory history, four years have passed since Gubadli's liberation from Armenian occupation. Kubadlı şəhəri inşaldan azad olunmuşdur. Hal hazırda Kubadlı şəhərində Azərbaycan Respublikasının dövlət bayrağı dalğalanır. Bir də bu şad xəbəri bütün Azərbaycan xalqına çatdırmaq istəyirəm. Zəngilan Cəbrail Qubadlı rayonlarının sakinlərinə, bu kəndlərdə yaşamış sakinlərə xoş xəbər çatdırmaq mənim üçün böyük şərəfdir. Artıq keçmiş məzbəli köşkünlər ümidlə yaşayırlar, qürürlə yaşayırlar. Mənim üçün ən böyük mükafat budur və bundan sonra Ən böyük vəzifə bu torpaqları yenidən qurmaqdır, yenidən bərpa etməkdir. Qubadlıya öz sahibləri qayıdır. Qubadlının işğaldan azad edilməsi tarixi xadisəyir. Oktyabrın 25-də Qubadlı şəhərinin azad edilməsi bizim qələbəmizi yaxınlaşdırdı. Italy also condemned the resolution adopted by the European Parliament against Azerbaijan. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Italy, Edmondo Sirielli, strongly criticized the European Parliament's resolution, saying that it's full of legal and historical falsifications. It was Armenia that illegally occupied not only Karabakh, but also territories exclusively inhabited by Azerbaijanis for 30 years. The exodus of Armenians from the region was not Azerbaijan's fault, rather as independent, UN reports indicate it was a decision made by local Armenian separatists. Over 750,000 Azerbaijanis were forced to flee their homes due to the war instigated by Armenia under the pretext of protecting Armenians in internationally recognized Azerbaijani territory. These Azerbaijanis remain unable to return to their lands as their towns have been destroyed and the region is heavily mined, the Italian diplomat emphasized. Nine information centers for COP29 participants will be set up in Baku in November. Seven of them will be located in the city and two more will be located in the direction of the airport. Irkin Javadov, head of visitor experience sector of COP29, Azerbaijan operating company, announced to journalists. It was also reported that a call center will be set up to raise awareness about COP29. Əlavə olaraq da hava limanı ərazisində və Köroğlu metrosu ərazisində də Signs and information boards will be installed and special temporary signs will be placed on the vehicles of guests and participants. Information signs will also be placed at the airport and Köroğlu metro station. This will help the visitors find the venue of the event more quickly. Work has started on putting up signs at certain locations. In accordance with the training plan for 2024, training flights were conducted with helicopter units of Azerbaijan Air Force. In accordance with the training flight plan, pilots carried out flights from the base airfields along the designated routes and accomplished the tasks on takeoff and landing, conducting aerial reconnaissance, detecting air and ground targets, establishing communication with command headquarters points, as well as other or other activities. The pilots demonstrated high professionalism during the training flights conducted to improve combat training and practical skills.
Throughout decades, those duplicitous forces that supported the ethnic cleansing of Azerbaijanis from the territory of Armenia and the occupied territories of Azerbaijan at that time, preventing their return and systematically destroying their cultural heritage, have been making groundless accusations against Azerbaijan, which is the victim of all these deeds, reads the statement of the Western Azerbaijan community in connection with the resolution of the European Parliament adopted against Azerbaijan. The European Parliament, with this resolution, makes its contribution to the vilification campaign of prominent circles against Azerbaijan, which is intensifying in the run-up for COP29. The views of the deputies, especially from France, who have the worldview of crusaders as if competing with each other in debates, are disgusting. A group of foreign travelers are on visit to Azerbaijan. Acquaintance with Azerbaijan of 33 travelers from 12 countries began with the famous oil rugs, which are also called the Island of Miracles. A unique place located in the sea 110 kilometers away from Baku aroused extraordinary interest among the guests of the city built on piles. The travelers were informed about the first oil well in the world, drilled in the open sea. They got acquainted with the monuments and oil rocks and visited the local Heder Alif Museum. Tomorrow the travelers will visit the territories liberated from the occupation. That was all for today. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.